could be the end for the aliens, or could it be the end for a decoy? Oh my! Gators more than I thought. And what did that snake man shoot at? Oh my! Okay. Even more snake men. Okay, definitely more than I thought. That means there's gotta be one more, one zombie slash chrysalid and two snakeies. For all we know, there could be more. If but there's I, I, more it will be up to vegan number eight to scout ahead here number eight be brave because you sure as heck can't shoot <laughs> hmm. aha number one sees another chrysalid Nice shot. Number one pwns another chrysalid. But I'm saving some time units. Because snakemen are right around here somewhere. And they will do horrible, horrible things if I go too far. Mm -hmm. They will be vi violating the Geneva Code in several ways. Yeah. Speaking of stuff I need to violate, here comes a snake man. And sir, that totally did not sound right. But that looked right. It's vegan number 19. He's been doing very well. He's going to have a non-vegan name if he survives. JJ, your shooting has been horrible. We might have to rename you Decoy, just because. Well, she's more of a singer than a shooter. Hmm. You might have a good point there. But could he point me to the direction of the aliens? That'd be, uh, down and to the left. Down and to the left. And number 13 is going to have a quick look over here and make sure there are no... Snake sneaking up from behind. Hang in there, number 20. There's mother freaking snakes and mother freaking Karachi! That was him, not me. I am Magmo WK. <sighs> Mr. Johnson. Cover the back of a vegan. I know you don't like it, but it needs to be done. Hmm. That would be a tricky shot. Clarence could definitely do it, though. But the decoy... Did a nice job! It's about communication. Communication is good. But we have a zombie out there still. And it's going to have to wait for another turn. Will it turn towards us? Or will it towards torn... Ugh! Clarence! Bravo. Clarence got it. <laughs> <laughs> the vegan standing next to him sure as hell didn't. He is getting a flying suit when I research that. Flying suit. Flying suit. Yeah, those are beyond awesome. That means you can levitate. Jeez, if only I had been able to make it farther than one terror mission. Take a peek. You're vegan. If you're vegan, you can afford to take a peek once in a while. Peek inside the garage. See if they have anything in storage. Nope. Hmm. Number four and a half. Go in the middle of nowhere. See if you bring anybody up. Nope. Nope. Number four and a 
number four and a half is a failure, sir. What are we going to do with him? Throw a banana cream pie at him. Indeed. There is one out there. But where is that one? Hi. I think because it's scared of us? Or because it wants vegan for dinner? I think I see him. Hmm. You do? I suppose I don't. I think I see him in the, uh, the that warehouse there. You see that little, in the middle. Yeah, that's a dead civilian. Oh. Number 19. Might have to cover some points. Yeah, we don't need to get poked. Look through the window. Don't be window shopping. Let him come to us. Oh my! Okay. That's yet another chrysalid, sir. Be careful where you stay in civilian. You might get shot. You might get turned into a chrysalid. Or a zombie. <laughs> it was sneaking over here, was it not? Yeah. Number eight. Make yourself important in life. Ask Chris Led if it has a visa. And I don't <laughs> get a charge card. <laughs> oh, you actually went there with that joke. I had to go there, sir. But we're, we're in Karachi, after all. Visa! It's everywhere you want to conquer. Speaking of being conquered... Let's have a snapshot. Of the conqueror. I love you, decoy number one. <laughs> Do you love him enough to change his name from decoy number one? Yes. It could be tempting fate, though. I, and I was saying I hated decoys, didn't I? <laughs> but I know something is out there. Something creepy in the night. But it's the daytime, so that makes it even worse. And I just noticed there's stairs, so they might be upstairs. Have you ever seen a zombie climb upstairs? Yes, yeah, several times. Why would it go upstairs? Because usually that's where people hide. So they ensure there's no way out. Unless they want to jump out the window, fall, break their leg, and just become easy pick and spraying zombies hiding outside. You watch too many horror movies, sir. Watch too many horror movies, play too many horror video games, read too many creepy pastas. Yeah, I'm a horror guy. But you know what else is horrible? The aliens next turn. Which is over. We did good. And only two XCOMs dead. They were worthless anyway. True. And ten civilians get to give us all our money. Which ain't much. Also, promotions. Clarence Johnson is now a captain. Captain Johnson. And Jane, even though she can shoot worth shit, is a sergeant now. <laughs> Along with number 8, he couldn't shoot. But fortunately, decoy and number 19. And fresh meat, who once again 
did not participate in any missions. He's now a sergeant. Makes sense of that one. Yeah, I guess he's good at hitting the buttons. Mmm. Speaking of buttons to hit, let's see how well we're doing. By the score. Yes. We're in high position. And we shall sell some stuff. And I shall meet you later in the next vid. Who knows what we'll do? Maybe something with a firestorm. One moment. And hey, remember, kids, only you can put out firestorms. Wait, no, you can't. Crap. We'll be right back. Or oh, will we? Well, that was rather uh, a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be.